I have been talking recently on this television channel about patience. Well, now I want to carry that forward, but with a different theme. I've noticed in 30 years of ministry that people, especially spiritual people, are always looking for shortcuts. They want a short, easy way. You know, it's like if you plant the acorn in the ground and you dig it up every day and say, why, why isn't the oak tree here yet? <laughs> well, that's what we do. It has been said that God's plan for our guidance is for us to grow gradually in wisdom before we get to the crossroads. I really strongly believe this, that God only gives us as much as we can comprehend in the moment. If God laid it all on us at one time, we would go into spiritual shock. We would repel it, thinking, well, we couldn't do that. That would be impossible. 2 Timothy 2, verse 22. Run away from infantile indulgence. Run after mature righteousness. Now listen to those words, mature righteousness. Faith, love, peace. Joining these who are honest and sincere prayer before God. An important part of growing up. There's growing up in the physical body, and then there is growing up in the physical mind, and then there is growing up in the soul, growing up spiritually. It is learning the wisdom of doing what needs to be done when it needs to be done. The better part of maturity is understanding the understanding of the value of doing the right thing. That means living in accordance with God's instructions. God's Word, it teaches us to be faithful and not to lose that faith when everything doesn't seemingly go our way immediately. To be faithful, to be honest, to be generous, to be disciplined, to be loving, kind, humble, and always to be grateful. When we do these things, we're going to be rewarded with the comfort and the peace that God gives to those that trust God completely and follow God's path. Now, when I talk about following God's path, it's not a physical path in front of us. It's a spiritual path. It is actions and attitude. And we're given the aptitude for doing this. Would you like to experience today God's comfort and God's abundance? Then, if you do, don't look for, for a temporal fix. Don't look for something that is instantaneous. Don't look for shortcuts. And don't expect impulse actions or immaturity to bring happiness. Instead, determine to act and think like a mature, thoughtful, and obedient spiritual person. And then, then, Get ready to receive the rewards that God bestows upon God's children who act like grown-ups spiritually.